What if this entire time we thought humanity was bad, but we're not? And there's something that's influencing us to become that. And you can think about it just even from a logical point for those people who struggle to um, believe that there's more. It could literally just be me right now telling you that you suck. I'm influencing you. We're going to talk about that more, but that goes on to like, there needs to be economic reform. There needs to be work reform. Like there has to be new ways. Like why do we have to live in the trash room? Why does it not? Why can't the trash room be paradise, the promised land? Why does earth have to be the way it is? Why can't it be more than it is? So to that is the whole idea of becoming one is we're doing it together. We're working together. So I challenge the challenge for tomorrow and for today, Saturday, October 19th. 2024 is for politicians, for elections, for competing companies to all lay down their weapons, universal peace, and work together. Yes, Democrats and Republicans, Trump and Kamala, and every other country that's going through their own elections and their politicians, they actually work together. What if we combined our best ideas? I am sure there's some incredible talent on the Republican side and the Democratic side. We can still find a new combination of both. Like what if the Republicans have amazing ideas, but they can't fully implement them because they have to go against the Democratic view just because that's what it is supposedly. What if it is that the dark one, the dark entities are influencing that because they want conflict, they want division because if we're united, well, then we're unstoppable. We can make anything happen that we choose. We literally will create our reality like this. Anything we want, we can make happen. We can make hell paradise. Why can't that happen? It's going to happen. So that is the world that's being created today, right now, as we speak. So this is where my dark side comes, my dark motivations. You either embrace it or you're gonna watch as all your exploits crumble in front of you. It's go time. This is where I go back to talking about momentum. If we do disclosure, if we expose the falsity, the lies that the world is and the entities, the corporates, the politicians, all those things, they're gonna lose their energy. They're gonna lose their momentum. Because if we all gain info and knowledge, once you see, once you see, let me just, I don't know, I wanted to write about, talk about something, where is it? Once you see and understand how things actually work, everything else vanishes, all the momentum. Like you just, you can't get fooled anymore. Like if you discover your boss is stealing your pay, are you gonna still wanna work the same way? If you discover that your girlfriend is cheating on you, is your relationship gonna still be like explosive and skyrocketing, right? Like if you discover that your dad is hitting your mom, are you really going to have the same relationship and connection with you or with him? Do you see where I'm going? Like all momentum vanishes just like that. So. If something is based on a falsity, a lie, these people have created a world that is filled with lies everywhere we look, illusions, tricks. And you can say that there's benefit to it, right? Like the dark motivation can be beneficial. So maybe these tricks and these illusions can get us to actually do. So fair, but what if they're getting us to become something we're not? hurtful people, bad people, people that don't do light actions. You see where I'm going with this? So if we can expose what's going on and educate people and give them information and then now they can decide, well, guess what? The people who have the power, the people who have the control, the people who are exploiting lose all of that. It's now fresh blank slate. You know, just... We have to build a new. We destroy all the old. Think of a house. 
and you discover that underneath the house, the foundation, it has mold, it has water, it has mud. The point is, we chose the wrong place to build a house, a neighborhood. What do we do? Now that we have this information, this knowledge, we destroy the house because if we keep building it there, it's gonna sink in two, three years and it's gonna cause problems. So we destroy it and we find a new place and we create a new because now we have the information to make that decision. You guys see where I'm going with this? Now we rebuild. So don't be afraid of destroying the old to create new. Why would you continue to build on a house, on a foundation that's literally going to be problematic? Why are you going to keep the mold and the block of cheese? It's time, guys. It's time. <laughs>